Plastic is one of the most significant inventions of the 20th century. Its rise to prominence in the 1950s allowed us to keep food fresh longer, manufacture lightweight and malleable products, design new fashions, create more unique packaging, and store things like never before. A Tupperware party. In the 60s, its production increased 400%. By 1979, more plastic was being created than steel, and in 2014, 100 billion plastic bags were used in the US, which is almost one per person per day. But while its convenience and versatility has revolutionized our world, it's left us with trillions of pieces of trash thrown into landfills and the ocean. In fact, in the last 60 years, we've produced 9.1 billion tons of plastic. So we thought we'd create a little experiment for ourselves. Every single piece of plastic that we use in the next week, we are going to have to wear on our bodies. <laughs> we are gonna have to find a way to attach it to ourselves and continue on with our week in public uninterrupted. <laughs> because the truth is we do a pretty good job of hiding it from ourselves, putting it in bags and bins, behind cupboard doors or closed with lids, and ultimately out of our houses and into trucks to go somewhere far, far away. We're gonna be following our normal normal consumption habits so that we can actually see how much plastic we're using or wasting. I'm honestly a bit nervous to find out how much it actually is and how it's gonna like smell on my body, let alone how people in public are gonna be staring at us. I'm freaking out already, so let's just start the challenge. One of our first pieces of plastic. What's going on here? I buy so much hummus, there's so much plastic. This way, so it seconds as a jock strap. Don't judge us RuPaul's Drag Race, but we're gonna use a glue gun. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh, oh it kind of feels like a weird place to start. Now it really looks like testicles. <laughs> I always get this and then I just rip it off and then I just throw it out. <gasps> is this double wrapped? It is double wrapped. So I have these two pieces of plastic. Oh, it's so warm. Because eventually you can like make a little rose out of it. Yeah, that definitely looks like a rose. Plastics are made of polymers, which are molecules that have many repeated parts over and over. For example, ethylene has two carbon and four hydrogen atoms, whereas polyethylene is many of them strung together and makes the most popular plastic in the world, like your grocery bag. Right now, 99% of all plastic is made from fossil fuels. These fuels are taken out of the ground, refined into crude oil, and then broken down into simple monomers. These monomers then go through a process called polymerization to stick them all together, and it's at this stage that different chemicals are added to change the characteristics of the plastic, whether it will be flexible or stiff, colorful or clear. And finally, this polymerized liquid is cooled and chopped into millions of tiny pieces called nurdles, which are shipped all over the world and ultimately heated and molded into whatever shape a manufacturer desires. These final plastics fit into two categories. Thermoplastics, which turn soft when heated like a shampoo bottle, and thermosets, which are incredibly hard after they're molded, like a milk crate or parts in a plane. It's day two. Day two. I happened to finish a few bags of rice and veggies. This is my brooch of shame. Okay, I had Halloween candy, sue me. This had mayo garlic in it, so I'm just worried about what it's gonna smell like. I have to wear this t-shirt every day. Not only is it gonna smell of food, it's gonna smell of B.O. It's so easy to throw it out, out of sight, out of mind. This is the opposite of out of sight, out of mind. Pretty soon we're gonna have to go into public. I'm a very shy, insecure person in the first place. Like, Greg is rambunctious and loud. <laughs> Oh, but then he's like comfortable being noticeable in spaces. Why is it this thick? I'm gonna be so embarrassed and it's probably what I need it for a good reason. We definitely do need to grocery shop. The grocery store, a place full of plastic. This trip was going to be a big factor in what we would be wearing for the rest of the week. But I actually like can't even focus properly right now because I'm so awkward. I, I, I like thrive on it actually. I walked in and was like, yeah, what do you think? Don't even judge me. I wish I could show you people's faces. People are, they're looking at us in, with disgust. Like maybe it's fair because like we're wearing garbage. <laughs> we would usually buy these, so we're going to. Right now with this on my body, I am mortified that I'm gonna have to buy this. I love quinoa, but I don't know if you can get it when it's not packaged like this, at least not at this grocery store. My favorite thing is hummus, also known as hummus. No to this, we do no to, oh you my God, I'm so sorry. sorry. Okay, we have to buy that. We're gonna buy it, we're gonna buy it. It's everywhere. Everything is plastic, which like in some senses makes sense. It's so much lighter. Like it makes sense that businesses opt for plastic, but when you're here, 
it's everything. And not to use the buzzword, but this is not sustainable. <laughs> like, we can't keep doing this. We're done like an average grocery shop, and now we need to get out of here because everyone's staring at us. <laughs> I'm so bad at packing my bags. Oh, I'm yeah, like insecure my... about it. <laughs> I'm panicking. Bad. Whenever I package it and people who work at places watch me do it, they're like, no. <laughs> As the week went on, the plastic continued to pile up, and we wanted to understand more about the impact of plastic, both good and bad. So we sat down with Rachel Salt, author of The Plastic Problem, to find out. I am sitting here covered in crinkly plastic, you so are. I'm gonna hopefully not be too loud in this interview. In your opinion, how big is this plastic problem? Well, I would say plastic in and of itself isn't an evil material, but if every single person on the planet right now stepped on the scale, the weight of the plastic we've made is 26 times the weight of every person on Earth. Of humans. We yeah. use it one time and then we throw it away and it takes forever in the environment to break down. In a landfill, that could take 1,000 years. Currently, only about 9% of all plastic ever is recycled. It's unlike aluminum and glass, which if you recycle an aluminum can, you can turn that can right back into an aluminum can. But if you take a plastic water, water bottle and recycle it, those long polymer chains which make up all plastic get shortened and shortened and shortened each time you recycle it. So the grade of the plastic becomes reduced. And then a lot of that waste actually escapes into the environment, particularly the ocean. About a dump truck worth of plastic, a minute enters the ocean. It's not literally a dump truck dumping it, right? No, there's not. It's, like, <laughs> it's like, who's doing that? What kind of impact does this sheer amount of plastic have on our planet, on animals. Plastic in the ocean has like, huge repercussions, especially to the amazing animals that live there. Mm -hmm. So by 2050, they actually estimate that there's going to be more plastic in the ocean than fish. So how do they do that kind of number? It's a biomass number, mm -hmm. biomass of fish. And this plastic is ending up in the stomachs of seabirds, whales, turtles, fish, and causing them to starve and often die with stomachs full of plastic. Even filter feeders like mussels are found with microplastics in them. This information was devastating for us, especially on day four when things got really bad. I brought the camera. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> this is Go. Greg's fault. Oh, so we had a camera that was broken by accident by yours truly behind the camera. When I opened it, this is like what's in it. Oh my God. Like. Feels like the timing, everything's so funny. Like, of course, I mean, it's it's worth doing it right now. It's great that it happened during this video because then you think about it. Wow. Honestly, I do feel like this is my fault. And one thing in my life is that I try to be conscious, but I am reckless and I break things. Because I buy headphones a lot. Because I really know. That's bad. I feel sad about this. I'm ashamed. We're splitting this. And in, in fact, you should be wearing most of it. One thing I just realized is when I ordered this camera, it's from a store in Toronto. I could have gone to it, but I thought it's free delivery. Either I'm gonna drive there or they're gonna drive here. It's the same like carbon emission. But now I've realized when you get something delivered, it has to be wrapped in so much more packaging. If I had just gone to the store, I would have got it in a box from the manufacturer, but not in another box filled with all this stuff. Lesson learned, if you can pick something up, it's probably gonna have less packaging. Coming in on the right. <laughs> Should we just be banning plastic? Should everyone stop using it immediately? Or what do we do? So this shirt that I'm wearing, it's made of linen, right? So it's a natural fiber. Thousands of liters more water to make this shirt than it would to make a polyester one, which is made of plastic. I was recently in a hospital and they used a lot of different plastic instruments and it was really important because it was sterile and it was cheaper for them so that they could serve more people and keep things clean and also Plastic is really lightweight. So if you are shipping bottles of Coca-Cola, the amount of emissions that it would take by weight to ship plastic bottles of Coca-Cola would be significantly less than that of glass. Those are just some variables, right? So it's not saying that in this case, plastic is 100% better. It's just different metrics that you need to consider to get a whole picture. Knowing the complexity and nuance of the issue didn't stop the stairs as we continued our normal life covered in plastic. Now that we have so much more, people feel confident to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Remember this? Oh, the very first. I'm just gonna get one of those spinach things. <laughs>
Thanks. <laughs> we'll good. make her sign a release later. <laughs> Sometimes wearing the plastic was a logistical issue. For example, when it came to working out at the gym. How many pounds you pump in? Uh, this is 20 in each hand. Wow, <laughs> 40 in total. Don't get it twisted. Finally, I found a place where I belong. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's taking everything in my body to not go and get a Cinnabon. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what are you doing? But I'm like, I'm gay, it's just fashion. Like, relax. <laughs> it truly is shameful though. It just keeps piling up and we need to figure out a way that we can minimize our plastic. So that's what I'm more interested in now. What, what can we do? So as an individual, you can really consider something called the six R's. Reduce, trying to reduce the amount of plastic you use in your day-to-day -day life. Reuse, instead of going to your favorite coffee shop and getting you know, their single-use coffee cup, bring your own cup. Rethink, people can get really creative. Can you turn a pop bottle into a plant container? Some people are turning plastic into art. Repair, I got a rip in my jeans. They can help you and learn how to sew. Or if you don't have that in your community, you can go to YouTube yeah, and there's online. so yeah. many tutorials of amazing people who refuse. You're at your favorite restaurant, they bring you your drink and a plastic straw in a paper wrap. Mm -hmm. You can just say, oh, no thank you, and recycle. So I left that to the end. Often it's at the beginning of the list, but I put it at the bottom of the list because as we said earlier, recycling is an important piece but it's not a perfect solution. You can listen to our full conversation with Rachel on our podcast, Side Note, but in the meantime, day seven finally came and it was time for our final walk of shame. We look like Nicki Minaj or Lady Gaga five years ago. <laughs> totally, fashion. <laughs> do you think this is a lot? I think it's a lot. Yeah, I actually do. I think on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, we don't have that much, but then seeing it all together on you, this is only a week. It's definitely a lot. I'm curious what you guys think about this <laughs> trash. Are we complete trash? One big takeaway for me is that I need to be prepared before I leave the house. Look into my bag. Do I have Tupperware? Do I have my reusable mug so that I can refuse plastic? I'm gonna be so much more aware of plastic packaging and if there's an alternative with less, I'll try and choose that. It's exciting. It's honestly like a game. How do you minimize your plastic? <laughs> yeah. And that's gonna be my new game. Alert! Is that what happens in game <laughs> video games? What? Honestly, I think you guys should participate. Kids, high school kids and university kids. I used to be a high school science teacher. If any of my students did this challenge as a project, I would be very impressed. A plus. You can have the idea. <laughs> so you need to get Rachel's book, The Plastic Problem, because it is full of all the information that you need to know about plastics, but most importantly, it is full of solutions. If you do take on the challenge, make sure you send us your photos on social media. We will absolutely share them. Even if you do it for just a day or two, we'd love yeah. to see it. So as you can see, we have changed the format and style on our channel. And we wanna know what you guys are thinking. We're having a lot of fun with it. We're trying to figure out how to talk about climate change and environmental issues in a fun, ridiculous <laughs> way. We look insane. <laughs> and if you have any ideas for us, let us know because clearly we are shameless and we will do whatever <laughs> the heck you want us to. So we will see you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching our little like documentary, I guess. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys in the comments. <laughs> see ya.